Okay, just picked up my boys from their bus stop and I wanted to have a conversation with them. So Vite, mm -hmm. did you hear that a 15 year old boy died in Melbourne? No. He died and he was stabbed to death by about 10 other boys, right? He was. Well, then how did he die? He got, he got stabbed. stabbed. He got jumped by 10 islanders, I don't know. So people are saying it's a result of this, you know, like the driller music. You like some of that music, yeah? Mm -hmm. And has dad had a conversation with you about this music before? Yeah. And what has dad said to you? Like we only listen to it, we don't do it. We just like to listen to it. Okay, so what, why? Why would you listen to something if you're not going to follow through and do it and you listen to the music? What's the point of listening to it? Why do you listen to it? I think it's cool. It's like, you don't want to listen to like um, all the other boring music. Like Dance Monkey and stuff. Oh, okay. So it's cool music, is it? Yeah. Does mummy listen to that music? No. Does daddy? Yeah. And what does daddy say about the music? He just says like, um, we can't say the words that they're saying in the song. We okay. Can't to it. Interesting. So dad, what, what conversations have you had with him? Alright, Vitez, do you remember do you remember the conversation we had? In the big yeah. So when we had the conversation, Vite kind of gets the gist of it. But I was just talking to Vite and what did I say to you, Vite? That um we only um, That you don't you don't have to do it, eh? Just for entertainment. Just for entertainment. Yeah. You have an opportunity to plan out your life. You can pick a career. You can be a professional um, sports athlete. You can do. You can be a lawyer. You can do all these different things, right? Like if you could make that that money like that, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have to do that stuff, you know. <laughs> but the things that the things that these people are rapping about is, you know, killing people, doing drugs, selling drugs. That's. That's not something that you'd probably be able to do every day. No. No. So... Would you want to do stuff like that? No. Yeah, and do you think it's a good idea to do stuff like that? No. Why not? Because it's like, um, then you go to jail and everyone no. thinks you're a bad person. What do you want to do with your life? Do you think making good choices will help you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think... Because I know Vite was going to listen to it. When I was his age, I still listened to that kind of music. Uh, but I was trying to explain to Vite that, look, I know you can listen to this music anyways. I said, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Listen to it. But I listen to it only for entertainment purposes. And the thing that I wanted Vite to get into his mind was, don't aspire to copy what they're doing. Like, don't aspire to go around with knives and stuff and do it. I said, just listen to it for entertainment purposes only. You have a good life. You, you can choose a, a, a way of life where you can make a career out of doing uh, legal things. Anything else to say, Dad? Yeah, I mean, um, this is just how I've chosen to parent Vite. Um, you know, I don't care if people judge me or not, but that's how I've chosen to monitor it, is talk to him about it and not allow his own mind to make his own judgments. I, I want to snip it on the butt and talk to him about it. I said, look, I know you like this music. I know everyone's attracted to this music at this age. I said, but don't aspire to try and do it. Don't think in your mind, oh, I want to do this. So, and he, and when I had a conversation with him, he seemed like he got it. So, you know, I'll probably have to have this conversation more than once and frequently. But for me as a father, I'm okay with Vite listening to the music as long as he doesn't aspire to want to do it. So, so yeah. then as the mother who doesn't, I'm, I didn't, I don't like the music. I don't, I have an appreciation that it's music, it's art, and it's, um, you know, got its place with people that need to express themselves. And if it helps them stay out of doing illegal things, then um, I'm for that. But um, I also, I don't really find rap entertaining. I don't like it. I don't, um, but you know, it's finding a balance too between Will's way and my way. And we're both, they're, they're our, um, both, different, yeah. both different. And we both have to parent them. And I mean, Vitez only nine, he's just turned nine. And he's very aware of music, what's popular, 
what he likes and I think he gets that a bit from Will because um, it's not something I particularly uh, would you say Will? I don't jam to any of that music yeah and I think it, a lot of us come with our upbringing like I could have relate a lot to what that music is like so yeah. I have an appreciation for it and so I still listen to it but I'm not going to go out and stab someone I'm not going to go out and sell drugs or anything yeah. and when I was Vita's age I knew what, how he was thinking so rather than just stop him and he's going to listen to it anyways I'd rather have conversations with him and kind of not, not control it but speed up his maturity a bit with listening to it you know yeah I don't know. We, me and Kim both have different opinions on it, but we're both trying to come to like a... Um, what do you reckon? Like, like a, a, a middle ground. Middle ground, yeah. Because so thought... every time I listen to my music, Kim always tells me to turn, turn that crap off all the time. So I, will, I have a playlist, Kim's playlist, and I always play that when we're in the car. And it's all the slow jams. So, <laughs> so yeah, I think just um, building conversations like this just helps because we're all in this game called life and trying I know for myself and my family we have principles that we believe that there's more to this life than just what we've got here and it's just a stepping stone so I think um, having the kids to talk to people so um, talk to my kids about it and have open conversations but I think just with the um, recent events that's happened sadly in Melbourne that um, it's a good opportunity that we've had to talk to our son again about it, um, our sons, because then you've got my, you can see my seven-year-olds back there. Well, this is going to be seven in two months. So, you know, and I think even if they're that young, they're exposed and listening to that music. Um, you've got to wonder, really, if they're doing it and we think we're trying to do the best things by them, there's got to be a lot of kids out there that don't have anyone to look up to that are doing things they don't know any better. They don't know, have options for a soundboard to bounce off. So, yeah, just our thoughts. Yeah. All right. Yep. Hold on, Zai. I will answer your question now. Now, now my twins want to know why someone got stabbed. So we're about to have that conversation. Thanks for listening.